I want to change my transpose at this point. This, and then raise this like. So for delay automation, I'm going to use this vocal right here. So in order for me to automate my delay plugin, I'm supposed to look at the parameters on my delay plugin and then choose which parameters am I going to automate. So all my lead vocals are routed to my lead vocal group channel. So all the effects are under my lead vocal group channel. I'm going to put this here and then bring my delay here. So let's say after setting delay, you found that this is the delay that you want, but you only want it on the points where there are no vocals. Let's say for example here, so that it covers this part, which is a blank part. So let me just play this so that you listen to the delay that I have. If you listen to this vocal, uh, the delay is slapping back almost everywhere. So if you don't want that, but you just want this effect that is here, once this vocal finishes, it remains and slaps back here. You can automate your delay by simply bypassing the delay on certain areas. So since my delay plugin is under my lead vocal group channel, then I'm going to go to my lead vocal group channel. But if your delay plugin was here, then you need to do what we're going to do on the lead vocal group channel under this. Let me just go to my lead vocal group channel, which is this one here. I'll just click on it and then show automation. And then I'm going to go here and select what do I want to automate. I go to more. So since these are now under insets, so I'm just going to open insets. This is where we find all our plugins, all the plugins that I've used on my vocal are right here. So I'll go to my delay plugin and then go to bypass. So if I want to automate the delay, let's say the level of my, my delay and so on, this is where you put. If you want to automate your feedback, this is where you do it. If you want to automate your mix, this is where you do it. But in this case, I'm going to bypass, which is switch on and off my delay. So I'll click on bypass, then click OK. I want my delay to be bypassed most of the times and then only play on a specific points. So I'm going to click on here where you see off. If I turn it on, then that means I've bypassed my delay. If I turn it off, that means my delay is still working. Let me show you this. So if I play this. <laughs> So I'm sure you can notice that my delay is still working here. But if I turn it off, if I turn it on, if I turn the bypass on, meaning I've bypassed my delay. So no delay. I would say I want this vocal to play as clean as it is here, then just put in the delay here. So at the point where I want the delay to come in, I can come here and then just uh, create these dots and also create these dots here. Then I'll just drop this down here. So you'll see that when I drop it down here, it's no longer bypassed. So if I play, it will play without delay this side, but when it reaches this point only, the delay will come in. Love you on me. So basically that's how you deal with your delay. You can explore and do more of this as you go with the vocal. You can also explore, deal with other parameters like a delay, feedback, try to automate them. Let's now look at reverb and it's the same process. You just click here, then go to more. Since this is under insets, we open insets and then go to our reverb which is roomworks i want more reverb at a certain point and i want less reverb at some point so what i need to do is click on my mix let me just bring our reverb plugin here and then you'll see what's up i'm going to play this vocal and then i'm going to be changing the mix so that you listen to what will happen to the vocal yeah,
my mix right now is set to eight if i want my reverb to be high at some point then i will come here then initially it's at eight let's say for example this part is what i want to have more reverb as compared to the other parts so i'll simply come here click and just raise it a bit like that so if i play this Okay, sorry about the reverb, it doesn't seem to sync with the tempo and everything else, but I hope you've gotten the idea. Now that we are done with uh, our automation with the reverb, let's look at one last thing, which is uh, auto-tune. So with auto-tune, you can actually automate the key, you can also automate things like your transpose and all these other parameters. So let me just go to this vocal, under this vocal show automation my automation track comes here i'm going to go here and more and go to insets i'll go to my auto tune and then what is it that i want to automate so i'm only going to automate my transpose so if i play this let's say starting from here Baby, to change my transpose at this point so i'm going to make sure i click the r for right and then do this and then raise this like Alright guys, so this is it for automation. Hope this video helps you. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to at least 25 likes. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at jdmg and let's interact there. I'm always free and ready to chat with you guys see you in my next video peace